So my time with Craft Cellar is coming to an end. Um, it's been a fantastic way of charting the startup of Little Me Designs and it's been wonderful having a vehicle um, with which to, well, to diary it, to have a memory um, of, of it all. Um, and I can't, you know, years to come, I'm sure I'll look back and get all the copies out and um, enjoy reading and remembering the momentous effort <laughs> that went into starting up Little Me Designs. Um, it has been a fantastic journey. I have loved every minute of it. Um, it's been overwhelming at times. It's been exhausting. It's been exhilarating. It's been exciting. There's been lots of late nights, 6 a.m. starts, some very cold days at markets. Um, but I don't think I've ever learned as much as I did in any other time in my life. Well, actually, maybe motherhood. But motherhood aside, um, at any other time, I don't think I've learned as much as I did um, setting up Little Me Designs. Um, I've learned a whole load of new skills. I've learned new business skills. I've learned that things I didn't think I could do, I could do. I've learned that I'm a lot braver than I thought I was. I think when you put creative work out there, um, you put a little bit of your heart and a little bit of your soul out there. And you're putting it out to be critiqued by the world. And that's really scary. And for a long time, I, I don't think I was brave enough to do that. Um, but behind Little Me Designs and my owl, I did get brave enough. And I'm really, really pleased I did. Um, I've learnt new craft skills. I've learnt I can do things that I didn't think I could do. I've learned I can work with felt. I really didn't think I could do that, but I can. Um, and I've rediscovered forgotten things, things that I loved. Um, I've rediscovered the fact that I do like to write and my blog and, uh, you know, I adore writing that. I've rediscovered um, my sketchbook and drawing. I spent hours as a child doing that. And I don't think I would have rediscovered those things if it weren't for um, starting Little Me Designs and my little glass baubles. Um, and I think the most rewarding thing that's come out of it is the relationship I have with the wonderful company called The Memory Tree. And they were a company who discovered me on Folksy and asked me to come a supplier over Christmas. And they raise money for their charity, Aidan's Elephants, and it produces memory boxes for children and infants and babies who have died. Um, and the relationship I have with them has been so special. and. I have adored doing it and I'm going to be working with them um, throughout this year and I think I'm going to channel my energy into becoming an exclusive supplier to them because that's what feels right um, and that's what feels in my heart like what I should be doing um, and it's been very inspiring and yeah it's been a wonderful journey and I don't think there's any other industry as altruistic as a craft one um, not in my time um, that I've discovered, an industry where people support each other like they do, where people are willing to put themselves um, out, people are willing to share techniques, people are willing to give advice, they run entire dedicated forums, blogs um, and websites dedicated on helping you become a crafter and set yourself up in the craft industry. And I think the craft industry is going to go from strength to strength. Um, and I think there'll be generations of new crafters discovering new skills and the love of bespoke and handmade um, and creativity. And I'm incredibly proud to have been, to be part of that. Um, so yes, Little Me Designs will carry on. We will go forth and conquer. Um, yeah, so I hope you'll still hear from Little Me Designs and see what we're up to and keep up to date. I'll be keeping up to date with all of you. Um, so from Little Me, I'm signing off from Little Me Designs. It's been great knowing you.